in the last class we have seen introduction to python why we have to learn python and what is making us to learn python so specifically for the data engineering we are choosing python because it is going to make our work easier and also for the libraries we can use it directly now yesterday we have seen the installation as well so expect everyone have installed anaconda very straightforward and in the next two three days i'll also tell you even if you're facing some difficulty how you can practice directly uh, in the google collab that was also i'll explain but i always recommend you to install because the main objective of this course is like we are moving from on prem to cloud right so from on prem installing in your personal machine i am expecting that you will be moving to cloud for that you need to understand what is the problem that we are facing in on prem for that i strongly recommend that you install and work okay now here once i open the jupiter notebook this is how the screen looks like as i told you every single day for the next 20 days it's going to be complete practicals so every day i'll be opening this jupiter notebook and we'll be practicing on spot okay so that's what we are going to do so once i open this please go to the new and new and click this python 3 and automatically you will be taken to this screen and automatically you will be taken to this screen okay now this notebook in fact it is very good for our documentation as well so whatever i do i will write it down as a comments and whatever we are practicing we will execute and see okay now what i'll do is please go to this untitled 20 and uh, give the naming as python variables python first session variables and i'll give today's date as well 22 10 So this is a file name okay you can also keep track of this so that whenever you want to come back and revise you can go back to that particular class and practice okay so i'm giving the name so this is the jupiter notebook the first thing what i will do is in the first line i'll go and write print welcome to data world welcome to data world okay so this is what i am writing here now this is the first line of code which i am writing there is actually a run button in the screen that you can execute it okay or what you can do you can also follow some shortcuts so whatever i write after this ash right it becomes comment so comment is only for you okay so executing the code it is basically shift plus enter so if you please go and press shift and enter automatically it is going to get executed okay automatically it is going to get executed so what is that you need to understand the first line welcome to the data world I am writing as print welcome to data well whatever you write within that codes it's going to work if you want to execute that cell you can simply go and enter this run or you can enter you can execute it by entering shift plus enter okay now let's write our second code let's write our second code oh is it not working just because it's case or data vision or what is the difference what is the difference between line number one and line number two yes, yes, yes. please capital uh, Santosh. okay everyone is awake thank you so what we have done is in the first line i have given p is a small 
and in the second line i have given p is a capital right now it is not working now so we need to understand that your python is your python is case sensitive or insensitive sensitive python is case sensitive that means there is a difference between capital p and small p okay so and also why this is not working because this is not working because capital print is not a keyword not a keyword so that means what do you mean by keyword what do you mean by keyword the keyword is something which the system will understand right so if you see the small p it's a keyword but if you see the big key it is not a big letter it will not work so that means it will not understand what we are doing it so keyword is very important we have to give the proper words and we have to maintain the capital or small letter whatever it is okay now let's go and write the third line so rather than writing directly print now i'll give this a equal to santosh okay a equal to santosh now if i go and enter this the value santosh is been assigned to a i repeat the value santosh is been assigned to a okay now i want to see what is mentioned in a very simple print of a i want to see what is present in a so if i go and enter i will get santosh okay now if i go and write print of capital a do you think again santosh will come no no so it says that the name a is not defined right so that means this a is not defined yes definitely it is not defined i have never ever used capital a so far so i've used small a so this is an another example for you this whatever i write after this ash it is for your understanding only it's a comment so this clearly indicates that python is case sensitive okay now in reality in reality everything needs a storage right everything needs a storage for example you go to your kitchen every single grocery particles is been stored in a container correct so similarly for me also whenever i am working for some of the programming language i will have to store something in a place that is a place holder right so for example santosh i need to store it in a right and data vision i need to store it in some letters or maybe some characters right so all this storing something is what we call it as variables so variables we will try to store that value and we will use it for the future purpose the best example i can give you is a container which is there in your kitchen you use us as a container right every time you want to store something you'll store in that container and we'll reuse it same thing what i'm going to do here here p equal to case data vision okay and c equal to 7 and d equal to 3.14 so here i am assigning three values to three different variables i've still not told you what is variables we are going to define what is variables but at this point of time line number 
I have assigned line number three. I have assigned Santu A equal to Santosh, and in the line number six, I have assigned B equal to Kesa Data Vision, C equal to seven, and I have also given D equal to three point one four. Now it's time for us to go and understand what is this variables. Okay, it's time for us to understand what is this variables. Okay, now. Try to understand variables are placeholders. That means store it and it will be useful for future purpose. Okay, so variables are placeholders. You can store it and you can use it for future purpose. Now that is called variables. Definitely it will be helpful because going forward, we have to, you have, you have to use the variable, right? I cannot use every time Santosh, Santosh, Santosh. I can use A instead of it. So I will be storing it one time and I'll be reusing it as many times as possible. Okay, now the small A and the capital A are not same. I have assigned A equal to Santosh, but if I go and say print of capital A, it will not work because Python itself is a case sensitive. The same applies for variables also. So here I will say variables are case sensitive. Okay. Now. You can uh, go to the next line with the help of shift and enter or you can click this pl plus marks. You will get all the lines here. Okay. So that is how you can go for it. Now, I want to know totally how many students are there in this class. So the number of students who are there in this class, I need to store that in a variable. Now, a beginner just like what we did today, what they will do is A equal to, there are totally 58 students today. Okay, there are totally 58 students today. So I'll give A equal to 58. Okay, so this is completely okay for me. Okay for me. So I'll go and print how many students are there. Print of A, I got 58. Okay, now, uh, I'll tell you what are all okay for me, what is not okay for me, okay? So today, we'll see completely in and out about variables. We'll see completely in and out about variables. I'll tell you what is acceptable, what is not acceptable. So line number 8 is acceptable. I'm okay with it. Now line number 8, again I'll write total students equal to 58. So line number I'm giving A equal to 58. I'm giving total students also equal to 58. This is also okay for me. This is also okay for me. Students equal to 58. This is also okay for me. I'm just telling you the naming convention, okay? The I'm telling naming convention, okay? Then uh, I'll put capital for the first letter. Total students. That is also 58, I'll give. This is also okay for me. TS, 58. This is also okay for me. Okay, so if I go and write instead of print A, if I go and print this variable, it will still work. If I go and print of this students, it will still work. If I go and print off, print this, maybe if you feel like you want to see a difference, I'll make it 59. So if I go and uh, try to execute this, you can see 59. And if you want to see what is this TS, 58. So every single thing I am getting and what I will do, I will tell one more time, okay, total underscore students equal to 58. This is also okay for me. Okay. So tomorrow if you want to go and store your variable name like this, 
completely okay. But, but, one, two, three, four, five, six, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. But, what is not okay for me is, what is not okay for me is, this is not okay for me. Right? This is not okay for me. So, I am assigning some value to a variable. The variable name I have given A. I have given, I have given total strings. I have given uh, students. I have given T and S capital students. I have given T S. I have given to total underscore students. And I have given total students. Well, the only thing which I did not okay is, I am not okay with the last one. Tell me what is happening in the last one. The space. Variable name having space. Any better way you can tell it rather than space? Variable names would be in one line like a string. It should be that a variable name should not be a breaking words. Okay, very good. I can say With that. Variable shall be a single, single word without any special characters. Yeah. We cannot say that because this is a special character. Okay. So this is a special character. So we cannot say that. But what I will say is, I will say that variables name should be single word. So please do remember that. Please do remember that. Whenever you are declaring a variable at any cost, it should be single word. You see, you can give it A. I don't mind. But I don't give A because I usually give total students or students or TS so that I'll have clarity. Uh, I'll tell you. When you go for a, I mean, when you go to a kitchen, your mom knows which what she has kept in every box. But we don't know. So, in order to make it clear what we do, on the box, we paste it. Salt, sugar, right? Chili powder. We paste that, right? How many of you do this? I do that. On top of that container, I paste it. Is it a salt? Is it a sugar? So, it becomes easy for me to access it, right? So, similarly, A is equal to 58 also is good. Total students is equal to 58 also is good. But... What is really readable and what makes you understandable is by giving a proper name. That doesn't mean that you can give whatever name you want. Your variable names has to be a single word. Okay, all these are single word, but this becomes a double word. So, double words are not acceptable. You cannot break the variable name. But also, I'll tell you, also, I'll tell you, the only one which is the only one which is acceptable also if i see total students equal to 58 or 62 if you see here this will not work right so this will not work so i'll say not okay for me not acceptable not acceptable right this is not acceptable because i am breaking the words but you can do one thing you can do one thing in case if you feel like you can break it you can go and total students you can write and here you can write 61 now this is acceptable and with this i'll tell you with this i'll tell you this is acceptable this is acceptable and underscore special character is acceptable. Instead of this, instead of this underscore between the words, you try with any other special character, it will not work. It will not work. It will not work.
it will not work it will not work i'm just trying with all the special characters it will not work it will not work yes and the square acceptable the only acceptable special square characters can... santosh what square brackets will work square before brackets. t and the... yes sir yes. no the before only and... the only acceptable special character is underscore i repeat the only acceptable special character is underscore it there is no other special character that we can use it okay so only if i give this i will not get any error so let me go and mark this next definition or next understanding about the variable i will say variables variable name can have only one special character can support only one type of special character which is nothing but underscore and this is a underscore okay and uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all these are not allowed all these are not allowed if you want to use one special character and you can use only underscore okay very proud moment for underscore only underscore you can use it nothing else right is that clear yes yes okay now tell me will it work yes no come on just now i told the only underscore available is uh, acceptable is underscore so what's the problem here so if not start with so it will work okay okay so it will work okay now let's go and see few more examples so i have told you that it can the variable names can support one type of special character that is underscore and i have given this right now let's see i am just giving virat equal to best person the best batsman okay so the best batsman if you see is actually the value where i am going to store i am going to store it on the variable name called virat okay now let's see it will work or not so let me go and enter this and let me go and write print of virat okay if i click if i just enter the line number 35 print of virat it is coming as a best batsman okay now perfect now virat 18 is also best person so i am also giving another value virat 18 and it is still accepting it is still accepting so print of virat 18 it is still working okay so it's working right it's working now 18 virat equal to aggressive now if i go and enter it's not working okay so line number 34 i was able to assign some value to virat line number 36 i was able to assign some value to 18 virat 18 and line number 38 i am not able to assign some value so in this case 
the next thing that I can go and understand about the naming convention is or about the variables is if you can see here variable name cannot start with numbers. So at any case, you cannot start with the numbers. Please do understand your variable names cannot start with numbers. I've clearly indicated in the line number 36, you can never start with 18. You can write after here. You can put underscore, it will work. Right? You can put underscore, it will work. You can put Virat. And then you can put 18, it will work. So all these are acceptable. But the only one thing which I'm not going to allow is your variable names cannot start with number. Okay. Now this is one thing which you need to understand. Okay, fine. Now, I'll give some names. You tell me whether it will work or not. Okay. Will it work? No. Yes. No? Yes. Will it work? Yes. Will it work? Yeah, it works. Yes. Yes. Will it work? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Will it work? Yes. Yeah, it works. Yes. Yes. Will it work? Will it work? No. 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 Why? It started, it started with number. Okay. Very good. So, at this stage, when you move out of this today's session, you need to understand what are the acceptable variable names and what we can use. Okay. That is what should be the takeaway after this class. Now, what I will do is, what I will do is, now, we have assigned some value, right? Imagine Dhoni equal to Captain. Okay. Now, what I will do? I will write something called print of Dhoni. Print of Dhoni. So, whatever the content which is stored on the variable, I am able to get that content here. Okay, so similarly, A equal to 62, B equal to KSR, C equal to 3.14. So if you see, there are three variables which I'm taking. The three variables I'm taking A, B, C. And in the three variables, I'm storing three different types. Correct? Three different types. Now what I need to do is, I need to see what type of value is stored in A and B and C. What type of value? What type of elements? Is it a number? Is it a string? Is it a floating number? I need to find out for that. What we can do is there is another keyword just like your print. There is another keyword which is like your print. We call it as type of A. Type of A. If I go and tell type of A and if I go and enter, it will tell you what type of data type it is. So what is a data type? Data type is a, 
it will tell you what type of values you are storing there and int stands for integer all the python developers are very lazy they will not give the full letter they have cut shorted it int stands for integer okay so let's see what is p type of b if i type type of b b is actually a string it is a character it is like a b c d is there like k s r is a alphabetic so if i type type of b i am getting str what is this str string i heard mtr string anyone from bangalore any from anyone from bangalore yes santosh yes have you yes. tasted food in mtr yes good place no. i know mtr what is this str right str stands for string str stands for string s t r i n g but as i told you python developers are bit lazy so they have given type of p so let's see what is this type of c hmm type of c i think i did not run this now i'll go and write type of c and you can see that type of c now it's giving a full uh, word that it is giving a float why it is giving a float because it has some decimal points so it is giving us float now in the yesterday's class when i was comparing with java with python i've told you that your python is dynamically type programming that means on the fly i can declare the variables for a b c that means you directly assign a value automatically the data type will be captured correctly now that's the beauty of python if it is was any other programming language first i need to declare what type of data type i am going to use first i need to do that then i have to go and assign but in python it is very straight forward you assign some value automatically that assigned values data type will be captured and you see that there are two keywords that i have given given today so one was a print which was a keyword you can see that every single keyword will come in the green color and this is a type so type function it's a function it's a built in function it's a function okay it will tell you what data type it is what data type it is okay now it will tell you what data type it is now one thing which you can do is here integer in stands for integer str stands for string and uh, float stands for float so it will tell you what type of data type it is okay so all good perfect okay now what i will do one more thing last thing that i have to consider here is your variable names cannot be keywords so this is the last line i am writing about variables variable names cannot be keywords that means don't do like this type equal to 5 type equal to 4 or print equal to 3 don't do this don't do this this is not acceptable this is not acceptable okay at any point of time please don't use your keywords as your variable names if you see type and print they are predefined keywords that means if i put type type means it will give you the uh, what type of data type it is and for that itself if you go and assign value right now let me tell you actually it will work see it has worked line number 48 has worked okay line number 48 has worked that means the value 4 has been assigned to type now if i go and say print of typ i'm getting 4 uh, you may argue with me 
hey santosh you told me that key val key words you cannot assign it but it's working fine right you are saying it's working fine it is working fine then why i should not use it then why i should not use it anyone uh, there is a confusion between whether it is uh, data type or else are naming okay it impacts code readability okay i'll tell you why i should not use it okay i'll tell you why i should not use it if i see b is equal to 7 is there now i want to see the type of b what is a data type of b so i used to write type of b right in the line number 43 type of b worked but now it will not work see because you have already assigned a type equal to 7 that means you have made type as a variable now so it has lost its original functions function behavior in the line number in the line number 46 i am giving type of c i am able to get what data type is but if i am same doing type of b now type is not working because in the line number 48 i have change the behavior rather than using as a function i have started to use as a variable so the word type has lost its original significance now even if you stand upside down it will not work this is the reason i would strongly recommend that we should not use keywords as your variable names now it's gone nothing i can do so what i need to do i need to go and restart the kernel so go to kernel and restart the kernel okay if you restart the kernel it will re it will flush it out all the variables it will flush it out so whatever i have saved so far everything will be flushed out so let me go and restart it so after i restart again i have to go and enter print print a a, all this I have to go and execute it. So I'm just printing shift enter. So I'm again writing this one MS Dhoni. This will not work. This will 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 work. This I will not run. I will not run because this is not at all recommended okay at any point of time don't use your keywords as your variable names okay now now coming to this we have we have understood all the points about variables 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 are placeholders store it and it will be useful for future purpose variables are case sensitive variable names should be a single word variable names can support only one type of special character that is underscore variable name cannot start with numbers and in short i can also say variable names cannot be the keywords is there anything else you want to understand about variables is that clear all good any questions? Yes. No, I have a question, Santosh. So, in a cell, like if we are declaring a variable and on the same cell, if we are checking the type, like does it not capture the type? Uh, at this point of time, you have to write one line in one cell. Yeah, because I was trying there, like while you are doing, and that did no, not work. So. It is like one cell, one, one code. That okay. is why we call it as a notebook. Okay, okay. You can write it like this. Okay, you can write it like this or I'll tell you, you can write it like this also. For example, D equal to KSR data vision. In the second line, you write type of D. Okay, and in the third line, you write print of D. Now it will it work. Tried. This print. will work. Can you remove, can you remove print? And... This will work. Okay, the next line will work. But if you simply go and write like this, okay, after D, type of D, it will not work. I'll tell you why. 
Okay, there is a reason why it will not work. If you want to write as a block, you can write it in the next line. So this will work. So D is KSR data vision and type of D is equal to string. This I have put it into one cell. It will work. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Now, Santosh, I have one question. Yeah. My question is about uh, data types. Uh, so here, no need to define uh, data types, Santosh. No because we define. assign the data types in SQL while we are uh, doing. Yeah, that is what every other programming language you need to assign the data type. That is why it is all called static type programming. But in Python, it is called dynamically type programming. There is no need to assign your data types directly when you assign a number or assign a string automatically the data type will be captured and it will be maintained. That is why it is called dynamically type programming. Nowhere I have declared the variable so far. Is that clear? Yes, uh, clear Santosh. Thanks. Okay. Now, A, B, C equal to KSR x y z equal to data vision i have declared line number 30 and 31 okay so i'll see what is a type of a b c i'll see what is a type of x y z so both are string can anyone tell me what is the difference between line number 30 and 31 double quotes given in 30 Okay, very good observation. 31? H single quotes. Single quotes. Both will work, I think. So though it's a little Both are problem. working. That's what I showed you. Both are working. Right? What is the difference I'm asking? 30 has all, all uh, capital letters and uh, 31 has uh, starting with okay. the capital letters. Okay, very good observation, but that's not the answer. I am looking for single quotes and double quotes, right? So in line number 30, I have declared, that is, I have declared a variable and the value which I have given is completely full, that is, uh, double quotes. But if you see in a line number 31, I have given single quotes. Now, if you ask me, should I go with double quotes or should I go with single quotes? It's completely left to you. You either go with double quotes or you go with single quotes. I don't have any problem. I don't have any problem, right? But what is not acceptable is you start with double quotes and you end with single quotes. This I will not accept. Not only me, no one will accept this. You either start with a single quote, you end with a single quote. You start with a double quotes, you end with a double quotes, but don't mix up. Right? Are you with me? But either one of them is mandatory, either double quotes or single quotes. Are Anything, your wish. Your wish. You go with the double quotes, it's fine. You go with the single quotes, it's fine. But what is not acceptable is one is double quotes and one is single quotes is not acceptable. If, if we don't give double quotes or single quotes, will that acceptable? No, you have to give. You have to give. So in terms of your declaration, okay, you can declare A equal to 5, it will work. You can give B equal to 3.6, it will work. But if you want to give a string, you have to put it in quotes. You have to put it in quotes. If you don't put it in quotes, it will throw you an error. So every string value has to be either in a single quotes or has to be in a double quotes. You have to do that. A string means you have to put it in quotes. There is no other go. Yeah, Santosh, it is only applicable for strings, huh? Yes, it is applicable only for strings. Only for strings. Now, now, one last thing which I want to tell is whether to use double quotes or single quotes, whether to go with the line number 30 or you go with line number 31. Ideally, both are correct. Ideally, both are correct. But if you ask me which one I will use, 
which is easier to remember double quotes or single quotes double quotes any reason Sorry. why you will use double quotes both will work i will always prefer double quotes okay i'll tell you why see it's completely left to you you go with a double quotes i don't have any problem you go with a single quotes i don't have any problem but what is not acceptable tell you one double quotes and one single quote is what i will not accept just need to be just we need to have a common sense we need start with the double quotes we have to end with the double quotes we need we start with a single quote we have to end with a single quote but i usually don't prefer using single quotes you know why i'll tell you this i'll tell you this okay imagine i am writing one word d e f d e t or v a r some variable and i will write it in one quotes okay i can't understand santosh session i thought of giving single quotes here okay and i want to end that single quotes but what happened i can't already can't you have closed it yes very good so here i have opened a variable that is a string i have opened a single quotes and here i have closed it but what python is thinking python doesn't understand what is a content that is present inside that so it is i can't that can't this is there right it is considering as a closure again this is considering as a start this is considering as a close so it will not work so i would always prefer to put it in double quotes this is how you can make it use always use double quotes because there could be some words which are already have a single quotes it may not work so i always use the double quotes you can use both if you have a one word one word you can go with either a single quotes or double quotes but sometimes uh, you may get it like this see see for example another another one i'll write variable one see for this i'll write a single quote okay ksr data vision is best institute people will start shouting at me is one of the best institute now you give single quotes i don't have any problem i don't have any problem you give single quotes i don't have any problem you give double quotes i don't have any problem but when the problem will come if you are using a single quotes is okay if i write case our data vision is one of india's best institute now there is a problem now there is a problem yes are you seeing what is happening the start it is happening here but end it is happening here but not here that that's why i'm saying your python doesn't understand what we are writing so always to keep this sure make sure that we work we start here and we end this okay are we good yes yes is it true santosh what if we want Hmm. like in double quotes why you want double quotes where do you use like, double quotes within the string Is yeah in situation in, like maybe something like quote of the day quote of the day see if you if you if you is trying to use any quotes in the string itself you enclose that with a single bracket no 
you write whatever you want. See, I wanted to cover this, so I have enclosed with double quotes. If you want to have double quotes within the string, you enclose with a single quotes, just like an opposite. Okay. Clear or still not clear? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. And yeah. uh, what if, like, if we have type of variable in in the same cell and print of variable in the same cell? So what does that it will not work? As of now, it will not work. I'll tell you why. Now you have to write a variable in one line. The next statement should be print, or in the next cell it should be print. You cannot write it in the same line. I'll tell you why. At this point of time, write every cell one one value. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All good. Everyone. Yes. Okay. Is a line number uh, forty-five true? Santosh, so forty-five uh, true, but forty is not true. Forty is not true. What is written in forty? Oh, is there anyone? Anyone, I would say definitely one or two will be there. Is there anyone? 40 is true? Yes. Thank you. Yes. So you can't understand my session. <laughs> so I asked 40 is true or not. So people are saying yes. So what you did not understand? Tell me, come on. Come on. I was hearing a lot of people, couple of people saying that I can't understand. <laughs> okay. One last thing which I want to tell is A equal to 75. Okay. Print of A. I'm getting 75. I can simply go and write A equal to 80. Now if I go and write print of A the new value will become 80. Okay. So, the last point about variables which I can say is your variables can be overwritten. You can overwrite it. You can overwrite it. Variables are changeable. That is why the name itself. Okay. That is why the name itself, variable, variable, you can vary, you can vary, right? So you can, at any point of time, you can always go and assign a new value. The old value will be replaced. So please don't ask me, can we get the old value? Not possible. It is just overwriting. If you're overwriting it, whatever the old value will go, the new value will be sitting on that variable. So your variables are changeable that means you can overwrite at any point of time okay so this is all about variables this is all about variables you have to remember all these points make notes python first session variables which you have covered today and this one will be like in notes for you so Whatever I write in the class every single day, I expect the same notebook has to be written in your Anaconda, in your Jupyter notebook. And I want you to try more. I have done a lot of things, like 50 lines I've executed today, right? I want you to try more, try with the different names, try with a different value, try to see keywords, key, give the keywords, try with all the possibilities and make sure that your variable concepts is clear very simple if you want to use some value in the future i will go and declare it as variable anything can be the variable name but there are a few conditions that you need to follow and that conditions is this one this one okay so this is what you need to remember is that clear Yes. Yes. yes okay. This is today's topic. Okay. So we will stop here.
but before i stop i want to tell you one small story okay i want to tell you one small story uh in bangalore in bangalore there is one gym right everyone goes to gym so i went to a gym in the month of 2022 or uh, january right in the month of january in the month of year 2022 i went for a gym so i took one person as a personal trainer we call it as pt okay so who is pt anyone any fitness freak here in this batch yeah who makes you learn all the things how to train in the gym very good personal okay. trainer personal trainer right so i took a personal trainer in 2022 because after covid even i started to focus on my health so i took a personal trainer he was the best trainer in bangalore he was very costly okay he used to train for all the celebrities it seems i don't know that tv serials tv actors uh, small small actors right he was a a very famous trainer with some close connection i got him as a pt so morning i he, he calls me he, he i just go there and he he teaches me everything in detail every single muscle how to make it active and how to which exercise you need to do first excellent one of the excellent trainer i have ever ever seen right okay 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the morning he used to teach me all good and he told me to continue this personal trainer means what he will teach and we have to do right so every day he used to teach me a couple of exercises i used to do i used to do i used to do but the way his body is like completely fitness stiff and uh, lean i was not able to achieve i was not able to achieve he is a best trainer he is a best trainer that one can get it but unfortunately i was not able to get the same body like him why why because he only teaches you how to train you have to be consistent in your work out sections okay next anyone there is a continuity in junk food after that sorry uh, you might be eating junk food after the the trainer uh, okay after the okay i am eating junk food okay next Actually, Next, he is a professional. He is that is his professional. He will take one hour training. After that, he will go and take class at the office. Or, but uh, he is doing that uh, every day, every hour, right? Okay. Santosh, even though he is a good trainer, until and unless you can't uh, gym daily, you can't do whatever he is saying. You can't uh, get that body. Okay. Very good. Any other answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hours we must do. What? His work, he has done. He has given a training, everything. But we must uh, follow that daily. Okay. The moral while... of the story is, yeah, go ahead. Maybe while he was uh, teaching, your focus was on next star's Python preparation. No, no, no. But... Discipline, okay. consistency, and okay. routine. Okay. Let me tell you. let me tell you he is one of the best trainer in bangalore he is a one of the best pt in bangalore he has trained lot of professional celebrity sports person right but i did not listen to him i did not do what he told me to do and it was me who have to go to gym and work out even though i have seen lot of his online classes he he, collect, he actually conducts yoga he conducts zumba he conducts online sessions uh, like he does he does lot of things every single session i was been part of it wherever he calls i will go whatever time he calls i will go i was so responsible i go 8 o'clock i attend i listen 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 i used to do everything just 
just listening. But I did not do that workout. So even though he is a best trainer, I have to go and work out in gym. You know why I am telling this story? You can learn Python from one of the best trainer. But unless and until you open the notebook, unless and until you go and write the code, you can never learn Python. This is a very strict line I am telling you. You may be listening 100 times. You go and watch this video 100 times. If you have not written a single variable, you will fail. So the idea behind this session is not just listening orally. That's what I'm saying. You watch 100 times. It will not going to work out. You have to go to gym. You have to go to work out. You have to strain your body. Similarly, you have to open your Jupyter notebook. You have to strain your fingers. You have to start typing and you have to practice. Unless and until you don't do this, please don't expect that you will get a job in this course. This is how we teach. And very openly, I am telling you, whoever joins the course, we are not promising you job. Nowhere ever you would have seen in our portal, we provide you 100% job guarantee. We never do that. We are telling you 100% job assistance. 100% job assistance is different. 100% job guarantee is different. We are not here to provide 100% job guarantee. That means if you come here, some more the other way, we will push it and get your job. Don't expect that. We will give you assistance. What is required to get job? What are the things you need to do? How you need to practice? How you need to focus? How you need to do the assignments? Only that we can do it. See, I can teach you variables for another 10 days also. Variables is done. It's a very simple concept we have done. I can teach one next 10 days to make it perfect. But who will get per who will get that practice? Who will get that perfect? It's me. It's me. Every day I'm going to write the code. But what you're going to do? Nothing. So if you want to learn Python, the only thing that you need to do is every single day what I do in the class, you need to go and practice. If you do that, Python is so easy. How many of you tell me, today is the first Python hands-on session that we have experimented. Assuming that no one is from coding background, is there anyone who did not understand today's session? Is there anyone who did not understand today's session? What do you mean by silence? So can I say everyone has understood? Yes. Yes. So yes. is Python difficult? Yeah, at, at, as it is from yeah, beginning now, we feel little easy. Today's class, whether you understood or not, as simple as that. Yeah, understood. Is it difficult? You're all listening for the first time. You don't know what is variables are. You don't know what we need to do it. But today we have learned something. Is it easy? Yes, easy. Okay. Yes, the same confidence that you're getting now, tomorrow 8 o'clock you will not tell. Why? You would have not practiced. If you have not practiced, every single concept becomes difficult. Okay, so with that, let's stop this session today. We'll continue tomorrow. So please practice whatever I have done. Create the same notebook before coming to the next class. In the next class, we'll be moving on to next topic, which will be a continuation of where we have stopped. Okay, so we'll stop here. Any questions in what we have learned today? Any questions in what we have learned today? Anyone? Any other question? All good? Yes. Okay. With that, we'll stop here. We'll continue tomorrow.